I'm Lauren Gray, and today I'm taking the genius test I know about Eminem. My favorite Eminem song. Oh, it's hard to pick. I like the classics, like My Name Is, The Real Slim Shady, Without Me. Stuff that, when we're doing stuff from, from music, that fits the, the, makes, it reminds you of the, who is this guy? <laughs> that is the number one person I would want to collaborate with, is Eminem. Um, I mean, Eminem is, I'm just, oh. If I ran into him, I don't know what would happen to me. Oh my god, I think I would like cry. That's why I don't want to run into him, because I won't be able to play it cool. Um, but yeah, Eminem is amazing. Okay, well can like, I, I give you a hug now? Like I respect both artists, so. I'll give you a hug now? Yeah, you can give me a hug and a kiss. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all, let's go number two video. Friend. We're gonna go to the number two video. Here's your man Mario with Just a Friend. We'll be right back, 106. Thank you very much. First of all, um, I don't even know if I want this award. I might just take Christina home tonight. How many people in Boston want me to date Nicki Minaj? The alias Eminem did not come from the candy, it's actually the initials of his first and last name, Marshall Mathers. Eminem's dream job as a kid was becoming a comic book artist. Later in his life, he read comic books as a replacement for drugs and alcohol. Past Coachella, we got a call from Eminem's manager and they were like, Eminem wants you to perform at Coachella. And we were like, that's great, but we're doing uh, the CM ACMAs. And they're like, oh, that's no problem. We'll send a private jet over. And I was like, what? And I was like, what? Eminem has a younger half-brother named Nathan Kane. He's a DJ and music producer and has even appeared in some of Eminem's music videos. Eminem's song Lose Yourself from the movie 8 Mile was the first rap song to win an Academy Award. The song also earned him a Grammy. Are you aware that Eminem has referenced you in a song that just came out this yes, week? Yes, yes. I think that if Eminem took like the Ask Pepsi Challenge, he would totally pick me as his favorite. Oh, I see. Maybe if you get him in an arm bar, he will tell you whether it was insulting <laughs> or not. No, I don't think that's necessary. Eminem has a tattoo of his daughter Haley on his right shoulder. Eminem failed ninth grade three times, then decided to drop out. He had no interest in school and wanted to devote his life to rap. I never let you down again, I'm back. I promise to never go back on that promise. Hey, yeah, no. Man, oh man, that was a 24 7 special on the cable channel. Eminem's all time favorite movie is Super Bad. He loves it so much, he can coat every scene. Bye. Take care of those. I found Jessica Biel. You're lost backstage here. Yeah, it's it's not easy getting through the crowds of people back there. Did you see who's behind you over there? No. It's Eminem and D12. This is what the MTV yes. Movie Awards is about, right? Now, highlights of the evening. Uh, that. He's great. He takes the piss out of everything. Now, did you get to see the Yeah Yeah Yeahs with the Beastie Boys perform? I saw the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. It was good. D12 is calling you. Hi, what's up? What's oh, going on? You want to be one of our groupies? I mean, you I know. totally want to be a Band-Aid. That's hot. Because I need to made. Damn, your blow dry is much better than mine. You actually met me before. About 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Yeah. Where? On the playground. Really? Yep. On the swing set? Yeah. You want to relive it? I'm going to go. That picture on the wall right there? Who's that? Of his songs, haven't I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Eminem, you yeah, got a connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eminem once worked as a short order cook at a family restaurant called Gilbert's Lodge. He got fired a few days before Christmas, inspiring the song Rock Bottom. Jake's little sister on the Disney Channel show American Dragon, Jake Long, was actually named after Eminem's daughter Haley. The producer, Eddie Guzelian, is a big fan of Eminem and was listening to Eminem's music while creating the character. Eminem's good looks come from mixed ancestry. He is English, German, Swiss German, Scottish, Polish, and Luxembourgian. Despite having a lot of swear words in his lyrics, he was against too much profanity in his house. 
In 1999, Eminem's mother sued him for $10 million for defamation in his music and interviews. She denied Eminem's claims of a difficult childhood and that she was taking illegal drugs. Eminem's mom ended up receiving $1,600 in damages. Imagine if the iconic character of Brian O'Connor from Fast and Furious hadn't been played by Paul Walker. Eminem was actually considered for the role. Eminem's parents used to play in a pop rock band called Daddy Warbucks. Eminem came second in the 1997 Rap Olympics. This was enough to get attention from Interscope Records and then Dr. Dre. Eminem's song Rap God is in the Guinness Book of World Records. The official title is Most Words in a Hit Rap Song. As a kid, Eminem got the nickname Mickey due to his big ears. If it weren't for rap, Eminem would have become a church choir boy. Elton John is one of Eminem's biggest supporters. He was there for Eminem through his drug addiction and used his own life experience to help him beat it. Tonight, the show was incredible. We're in Los Angeles and it's my first time headlining my, my first tour in the United States. So it's a big deal and to see the way LA responded was kind of exciting. Uh, when Eminem came up, they kind of just lost their minds. So that really was like the, the hype of the show for me. <laughs> Eminem was offered the main role in the movie Elysium. The only reason he turned it down is because the producers didn't agree to shoot the movie in his hometown of Detroit. Eminem once held a top 30 score in the game Donkey Kong. Eminem had a nightmare involving a clown with beach blonde hair, who threatened to eat him if he didn't write a song about him. The clown was the inspiration behind the Slim Shady LP. Eminem lied to Kim that he and Haley were going to Chuck E. Cheese. That was when he took Haley to record her part for the song 97 Bonnie and Clyde. Eminem watched the Rocky movies, Shooter, and Boogie Nights around 150 times at the height of his addiction. A drugged up person once broke into his and Kim's house to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They didn't steal anything. Eminem's mother claims Eminem used to carry around a replica of his childhood home. Eminem produced Tupac's posthumous album, Loyal to the Game, after getting permission from Tupac's mother. Eminem came up with the song, Lose Yourself, while filming 8 Mile. He did all three verses in one take. Eminem is obsessed with Diet Coke. He loves it so much, he used to have a Diet Coke fountain in the lobby of his studio. Eminem doesn't like reading books. The only book he's read from start to finish is LL Cool J's autobiography, I Make My Own Rules. The first house Eminem bought was across the street from a trailer park. Kids used to jump in the pool and knock on the door so much that Eminem had to sell the house. Eminem's alter ego, Slim Shady, is the representation of his temper and anger. Wait, I didn't know this, but I saw the pictures, and I guess you posted them, and you met Eminem? But you accidentally spilled water on him? How did that happen? Oh my, you see, I, people don't, I don't look like this happens to me, but I have terrible stage fright. And in this moment, I'm like more nervous and he comes out exactly on the side that I am in. And I just, I'm so nervous, <laughs> like, I love you, I love you. Uh, you're shaking the water. <laughs> I spit it out. I was, I drank and I said, I love it, I love it. That got like, so much worse. Oh my I god. Said, oh I my god. Go, and then I see that he's like in shock with water all over, and I go, First of oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they're like, Go, go. I'm sorry. And then, I, and then they're like, Go, go. And I go, Somebody take a picture. <laughs> he took a picture, and then I laughed. You both look terrified. It's so humiliating. We I all.